this is Way of Weinstein. Welcome back. It's finally here! Game of Thrones! Season 8, Episode 1. No! Damn it! It's not time for that yet. Alright, but... 4 and 3 and 2 and 1. The Season 4 premiere of Broad City. Okay, so with Broad City Season 3, I absolutely adored the... The season finale, I thought it was one of their better episodes. I loved it. Being a New York Jew, I thought it was fantastic with the whole Israel uh, like plot line and then getting, not getting to go to Israel because the whole shenanigans they got into and how that ended with is, is at even Jew or so. With this episode, and the thing with Broad City, so there, are, if you're fall into one of these three groups, I'd say you have to watch Broad City. If you're a woman, if you live in New York, or you're Jewish, if you're one of those three, I'd say you have to watch Broad City. Uh, one of my friends recommended I watch it, and it's been a great show. So, essentially, this whole episode was about flashbacks, how Abby and Alana met, and a couple of funny. Uh, things along the way with some minor ancillary characters. So, with the subway, so she, her swiping back in 2011, which for me, that on true, because 2011 is when I started using the subway. It's right when I graduated from college and started using this, the subways to go out to the city. So, it was interesting seeing like the different ways how they were together, they missed the subway, they got the subway. It was kind of confusing saying which was the actual way that they met. Now a couple a couple of highlights, so with how Alana not thinking Abby's Jewish saying, wait like really Jewish? Full, fully Jewish, half Jewish, saying that she had a bot mitzvah. Uh that was pretty funny how that's pretty much a recurring thing throughout the show that Alana questions if Abby in fact is really Jewish. So that was really funny. And the whole thing with how Alana is high all the time. And she get he gets fired a lot because she's just so high all the time. And with her hair, that was funny how it went straight. And then her old roommates said that it looks like pubes. And then Abby saying it looks like a little Rosie Perez like. Uh, so with uh, Bevers, it was funny to see a very in shape Bevers and Abby kind of uh, fe like feeling. Bevers and things like, oh yeah, don't pay for my food. You know, it's not an imposition. Like, yeah, you're gonna regret that. You hate the guy. Mm. So, and with Jaime, that was hilarious. That it looks like Jaime and Alana were a thing that Jaime uh, used. That Jaime what used to be into women. So that was really funny, just seeing that and Alana doing that presentation, not knowing what day it was, not knowing what time it was, not knowing what class it was, classic Alana. And yeah, with the whole sidekick, her with her doing the, the throat congestion, and then saying they're gonna die, and then that led to them getting the tattoos, which very good for like, that. 2011 was when actually Oprah ended. But, but yeah, I thought it was very interesting, especially at the end, how they met saying with the, the subway swipe, her smoking her up, and with the pizza. Now, I'm curious to see where where they go this season, what's the arc, uh, if there is one, or what they have in store for this season. So yeah, this isn't as in-depth a review as my Game of Thrones would be. Granted, Game of Thrones is more... Uh, more character, more cinematic in those episodes, or an hour without commercials. These Broad City episodes are about probably 22 minutes since it's a half hour show with commercials. So, yeah, overall, I like the episode. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, Evan, uh, thanks for thanks for tuning in. Yeah, Abby or Alana, both great Jewish girl. So yeah, Evan, you are right. I'm going to like that comment. Ugh. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for season four, episode two next week. And I will be doing Curb when that gets back on October 1st. All right, that is all. Giddy up.